Finally, great to meet you all. Uh, Lauren, uh, how are you doing today? It's nice to meet you also. I'm good. It's good to be here in New York City. I just moved to Austin. So to be back in my hometown, the fall is my favorite season. So it's great. Now, how are you feeling about uh, Connie's character in this Commonwealth arc? Say th- I'm sorry, say that again? How are you feeling about Con- Connie's character in this Commonwealth arc? Well, I love the role that she's playing, especially in this final chapter. And I think with Connie, she's making a change and causing ripples in the community. And, you know, it, it lives, her friends' lives, she's not afraid to keep on striving for a better world. And my next question for you, um, who did you like working with the most for this season? Oh, I couldn't say who I like working with the most. I just want to say that I am really fortunate to have this experience of working with, you know, the AMC network and to work with the cast of The Walking Dead. I just, you know, met the cast upstairs, and it's so great to see their faces again. So I feel really lucky to be a part of this, you know, impactful, you know, show. And my final one for you, do you find it um, that killing walkers are very therapeutic? Yes, yes, I highly recommend it. It's fun. Yeah, and did you know, it's almost like squashing a watermelon. Just so you had a walker's head, same thing as squashing a watermelon. Thank you so much for your time today. Thank you. You're welcome. Thank you. Right here, we speak with Elena. You are looking great today, by the way. Thank you very much. Thank you. I'm just having a little midlife crisis, dyed my hair and cut it off. What do you think? It's awesome. Thanks. <laughs> now, how are you feeling about these last episodes that's coming up, especially since Yumiko is one of the lawyers in the Commonwealth? I know, right? I guess it's a big change for Yumiko. Like, I've taken on this new job, and I have to be honest, there were some days when we would shoot the show, and I'd be wearing these suits. They were all clean, and my shoes that were all clean. And I was like, what show are we on? Like, this doesn't feel like the Yumiko that started. I've had a real journey on this show, and I think it's just hitting me now that that's coming to an end. Like, people kept asking me this past year, like, how does it feel, you know, the show's coming to an end? And I haven't really been able to answer the question because we've still, like, the plane's still in flight, you know? We haven't landed it yet. But today, I feel like, oh, we've landed the plane. Like, this is the end now. And so it's I'm very moving, actually. I'm feeling quite emotional about it today. Yeah, I'm feeling emotional about it, too, because I've been covering the show for 10 years yeah. since the beginning. Yes. Oh, my goodness. Well, yeah, so you're going to feel it, too. Have you been, like, obviously a fan of the show as well? Like, are you feeling like... I'm going to interview you now. So how do you <laughs> feel about the last few episodes? I'm feeling heartbroken, but my question should go to you. Okay. <laughs> but my next one for you, um, is Magna and Yumiko's relationship going to be greatly affected by this next upcoming episodes? Interesting question. I will say this. Um, I hope that the Yumiko and Magna fans will be happy. I certainly, as a fan and as a Yumiko advocate, have fought very, very hard to make sure that we give them the ending that they deserve so i hope that fans will be happy and i guess you'll just have to stay tuned to see if that's true or not thank you so much for your time today great to speak with you you too take care well, how's there it going Let's, okay we're doing this I'm still, there. <laughs> yeah. I'm still there how are you doing today scott i'm doing good I'm doing good as well. In fact, let's talk about the show because um, in the next month or so, it's finally ending. Uh, we got the spinoffs lined up. How are you feeling? I'm feeling good. I'm feeling tired. I'm feeling tired, Jillian. Really tired. Really tired. <laughs> really tired. We got a we got a show in France. That's a lot of different hours. Now, speak about the spinoff in France. Um, any title that came up to your mind yet about what the show will be named? We're very close. <laughs> We're very very close. Now, when it came to the development of these last uh, few episodes, uh, what were the first thing that came to mind when it came to the scripting and the locations and everything else? Um, The first thing that came to mind was uh, cumulative, making it cumulative, making it all add up, making it all come together, making it all mean something. And my next one for you, um, when are you going to start filming the Michonne and Rick um, show? In the new year. We're working on it now. When I say we... Uh, that's Andy and Denai and the writers and myself. But Andy and Denai, you know, we co-created it. We're, you know, we, they aren't just showing up on the day and being like, okay, what am I doing? They, they, we all did this together. It's been amazing. It's like playing in a band. 
I'm looking forward to that one. Uh, my final one for you. Are we going to see any CRM hints by the end of the series? Yeah, you know me. You know me. Like, I, I never say anything. I'm the worst. I'm the worst. Now nah, you're the best. Oh, God bless you. Well, I mean, maybe we'll, I'll, we'll both agree on somewhere in the middle. Somewhere in the middle. Thank you so much for your time. Good to see you also. Wonderful to see you, too. All right, how's it going, Norman? Good, how you doing? Doing great, man. Uh, looks like you're checking your hair. <laughs> Let's begin. Uh, how are you feeling about these upcoming episodes since it's the last of the few for the main show? Yeah, I feel great about them. Um, I think Angela and Scott and the writers did a great job of sort of wrapping up storylines and uh, how the season progressed from... Uh, these, you know, this this group having to deal with themselves in this world, and then having to deal with bad guys, and then having to deal with sort of a perfect society at the end. I think it, they did a really good job of uh, going through those three storylines really well. So, yeah, I've, I've been covering this for about ten years, and you've been on the show for almost twelve, man. Uh, any significant moments that mean a lot to you? Oh my God, so many. Uh, we could be here for an hour. Uh, <laughs> Uh, the Cherokee Rose was a big one for me. Uh, the relationship between Daryl and Rick was a big one for me. The loss of Glenn was a big one for me. Uh, the loss of my brother was a big one for me. I, I mean, there's a ton, you know, so I do this for an hour. Yeah. <laughs> now, for your spinoff that's coming up, um, by the end of this series, are we going to get a lead into your uh, spinoff? What, at the end of this season? If we're going to, uh, in a way, I guess, sort of. Uh, there's a bit where you see me heading out, and then it kind of picks up where where that goes a uh, little bit. I think I can talk a little bit, but not a lot. As she comes zooming in to stop me. Of course, of course. Thank yeah. you so much for your time. Pleasure, man. Yeah. It's good seeing you again.